Now, we're going to try to give a simple illustration um, to at least try to make the understanding of what's going on in reality, you know, that really is the truth out there and not the, you know, the fictitious um, delusion that most people have been zombied into um, due to the legal inducement system. So we're going to go very, very straight on this. So we'll just say I was going down the road. Okay. Or let's even just use it. I'm just, I'm happen to be at the wrong place, the wrong time on a street in the public street. And I'm minding my own situation privately and I'm reading the Bible and I'm reading a book and all of a sudden someone approaches me being a public officer and I'm just giving this as a simple illustration. So I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm reading quietly and some officer says he wants to know who I am because someone said I was suspicious. A guy like me looking suspicious, I don't know, maybe to some. So he comes over and he says, I want three pieces of ID and I just keep reading and silently reading God's word and I don't say anything. And he says, all right, you better answer me. Give me three pieces of ID. And okay, say I don't have those. Let's just say I don't have those. Let's just look at it that way. I'm out there only with God's word. Then he says, if you don't give me three pieces of ID, you're under arrest for failing to identify. Okay, you better, you better do that. All right, you don't do that. Now you're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. I'm going, hold on a second here. Wasn't I already remaining silent? Did I need the right to remain silent? I was already doing that. If I wasn't speaking to them already, I wouldn't have to claim the right to remain silent because I was already doing it in reality. Now, in the legal world of fiction, your privacy goes right down the flush toilet when you join the public collective legal stupid. Because when you've done that, you have to surrender your privacy for the public interest. Because the public interest overrides who you truly are at that point, because you just joined a collective membership. And believe me, if you look at that collective legal membership out there right now, they're pretty stupid. They are absolutely stupid. Because if you aren't seeing their behavior out there right now, they're absolutely being herded. No, they're not sheeple. Sheeple are humble. They're goats. They're stubborn doing the wrong thing. Remember, God, Jesus said he would separate the sheep from the goats. The sheep he would put on the right side and the goats on the left. Isn't it interesting on these ambiguous uh, securities, they put the goat name, the surname on the left, and they put the sheep name on the right. Um, so be aware that you've just been in a confused delusion and you're not seeing the reality being caught in the legal. Most people are trying to argue with me on emails. How do I stay in the legal and still get the spiritual reward? You can't play both sides. You can't be private and public at the same time. And that's what try, you're trying to do. So they merge the two together and your privacy becomes low and the public turns into the higher power. So you've got no way to win by being in duplicity or double-mindedness in this. You can't play on God's, you can't be on God's side and be on the legal mammon side or money side at the same time. Um, and the money is just a belief system. It's not reality. It doesn't grow on trees. So don't treat it as natural. Your God-given name is natural. It's something your parents gave you, not the state. The state is an artifice and it's not real but we energize it to be real. So you've got to pull what you're doing, you're empowering it, you're breathing life into it, and you've got to pull that, that proper spiritual energy or spirit out of there, and then that body will just fall. The cards will fall, but not while you're energizing it. You cannot be rewarded. A man cannot be rewarded from his own error.
that works not only in the civil world, but it also is from God. A man will reap what he sows. You cannot sow something that's corrupt with your good spirit. You can't do that. It's just you're trying to play uh, two different uh, two different roles at the same time, and it's just not going to happen. So hopefully that's giving you an understanding of it, and uh, we'll try to uh, you know give you a couple more videos before the weekend's over here, and, and I hope that they help you into next week.